So, I really want to know what the boss of this area is. I also want to be able to get back to the previous areas. Oh, leave me alone! Pomba, no! Hey everybody and welcome back to LTV Plays Eagle Island. Now, I did it. I finally did it. I finally remembered to get my controller. Look at it, look at it, and it's all its glorious controllery glory. So, I don't really know how much it's going to help me, if anything at all. It probably won't help me at all. I just feel that this game will play better for me personally. Probably not for everybody. Some people will prefer you to use the keyboard. But I believe it'll play better for me with the controller. It does perform fine with uh, with the keyboard. It's actually pretty good with the keyboard. But I just believe oh, that I will find it more comfortable with the controller. As you can see, it's not helping me whatsoever. But already I feel a lot more comfortable. And that's what it's about. It's about comfort. It's not to do with skill. It's not a case of I'm blaming how terrible I am at this game on the fact that I'm using a keyboard. It's just all to do with comfort. And currently, right now, I feel a lot more at ease using this. Because uh, I've always been a console gamer over PC gaming. You know, I haven't had a PC all my life. I've had consoles most of my life. So, I'm, I feel more at home with a controller than I do with a keyboard. Anyway, stop, stop rambling about, about useless nonsense. Oh, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. That's also a bad move. Okay, I'm dead. That, that was just bad play on my part. Really bad, bad play. I don't fully know the buttons with the controller yet. Here we go, make the excuses already. Okay, so if I hold B, it does that. If I bumpers, it does the quick switch. Y does something. There's a mole! There's a little mole! A little mole dude down there! I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, triggers don't seem to do anything. Uh, the right analog doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, I think, I think that's about everything. All right, I killed two things without taking a hit. No hits, two kills. Oh, I still can't aim. I feel that I don't let go of the direction quite as quick using this either. Oh, I didn't press the right direction though. <gasps> Also, Koji didn't fly as far as I expected then. I expected him to fly much further than that, and he just didn't. It's not Koji's fault, it was me. It was my fault for being out of range. I'm not used to how far he flies, I usually get him really close. Nailed it! Give me the nuts! Give me all them nuts. Lovely nuts! Uh-oh. Uh, I don't like these spore deals. Can I... Oh, it still hit me! I can't believe it fired the thing after it died! Okay, this feels much better for me. Much better. I should have done this a long time ago. Peek, see the contents of gold chests before opening. That sounds really good. I mean, gold chests seem to be really rare for whatever reason, but it does still sound really good. Nailed it! I mean, that was pretty easy. They were all in the exact same direction. I didn't press anything to open the shop. Okay, then. Never mind. We'll take that, as always. And we can't afford anything else, as always. Give me some good, give me some good. Nothing. Okay, I take it back. Maybe it was slightly skill related as well because I feel like I'm possibly doing a little bit better obviously not loads I still suck but a little bit better he says as he completely fumbles his shot twice in a row but I don't know I just feel that 
I play a lot more fluidly like this. That wasn't as far down as I expected it to be. I just feel that I react a lot quicker and I'm not forgetting the buttons as easily, as easily as often. You know what I mean. Ooh, I don't think so, little mushroom dude. Oh no! Can I go down there? No, guess not. Seems like the sort of thing you should be able to jump down. Nailed it! So, I really want to know what the boss of this area is. I also want to be able to get back to the previous areas. Oh, leave me alone! Plumber, no! Oh. That made me momentarily invisible. Invisible? It didn't at all. I could still see myself perfectly well. It made me momentarily invincible. And I didn't even mean to open the chest, obviously, because mid-combat opening a chest right in front of the enemy would be a really bad idea. And whilst I am usually full of bad ideas, that time it wasn't a deliberate bad idea. It was completely accidental. Oh my god, I'm actually like half decent at games. Oh yeah, I get a power up so I can see what's inside the thing and then I just open it anyway. Just open it willy nilly because I don't really care what's inside it. Uh! I'm not very good at timing. That's something I need to work on. Also, I need to work on acquiring some health. I need health. Health keeps me alive. Health is good for me for to live. That was awfully close. What do you got? Ah, oh, you got a little sad face. Like a uh, little... I was just going to say, like a little Binding of Isaac ghost face. That's just what it looked like. like. Like a little ghost baby from Binding of Isaac. No, just drop down. Oh, not that far down. Nailed it. Please give me some health. Like now. Or a, a rat. Rats are almost like health. Rats are definitely almost like health. <gasps> shop! Shop! Please! No, no shop. Just a fast travel point and also a dead end. Oh, because I got the key. Okay, that makes sense. So then I can fast travel there, because then it'll be slightly faster. Wait, was there another path that I didn't take? Just let me check. No, no there wasn't. Maybe there was a secret though. The, the map over at the left hand side was a little bit oddly shaped, so maybe there was a secret. Maybe there's a secret here. No, if you jump right. No, no, maybe not. Maybe there isn't a secret. I'm just always hoping for secrets because secrets usually give me health and I like health because then I don't die. Okay, then I postpone death for a very brief period. I want to see the boss. I really want to see the boss of this dungeon. I'm not confident that we'll beat the boss because this game is getting really hard. I just want to see it. Just, just seeing it is enough for now. Can I? No, I can't get a, a good enough combo here. Ooh. Can I stand on the edge? Yeah, I can. Because if I stand on the edge, I can hit that one relatively safely. And then that one. Oh, if you throw it in the right direction, then you'll kill it even better. Please, please. Yes, health. That is all we need. Lots of health. What is that? Frost. Oh, freeze the ground using Ikora's feather. That's pretty cool. Ghost. I've already got a ghost. Koji's not obstructed by the turret. I did not even know that. I didn't. I picked up the power up before, but I didn't even acknowledge what it was. That's really good. I'm gonna take this deal, and I'm gonna put it there. I don't. I'm not really bothered about seeing what's inside the chest. Then we'll take another two health. And then we're all gravy. Nailed it. I really love this game. This game is just, it's just so much fun to play. It's so satisfying when you actually, when you try and do something and it actually works. It's the most satisfying experience. It is one of the most satisfying games I've played for a long time. I mean, I said in one of the earlier videos, I am really not big on the whole, on the whole Metroidvania type thing. Or just, even just like platformers in general. I'm just, I'm not the biggest platformer fan. But this is really satisfying. I think the only time I've really enjoyed a platformer recently is Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is a really good game. And I, I thought it was going to be really tricky 
to find another game that was going to be on a par with Shovel Knight and definitely going to be tricky to find a game that's going to be better than Shovel Knight and this is it's up there it's definitely a, a good competitor for it I'm not sure if it's better maybe the roguelike elements to it will make it better in my opinion because I'm a huge roguelike fan like I really love roguelike and roguelite games they're some of my favorite games like the Binding of Isaac um, I've drawn a blank I can't think of any others off the top of my head uh, but yeah, just uh, any sort of games like that, uh, Rogue Legacy, that'd be another one. I'm a, I'm a massive fan of all sorts of games like that. So maybe that element to this could possibly put it above uh, Shovel Knight. But I think that is possibly the only reason why it would be better. If not, I think the like just based on the platformer elements and the gameplay of it, I think they're, they're about equal, you know? They're both just as enjoyable to play as one another. In my opinion, anyway. That, that's just my opinion. Do not take my opinion as gospel. It is literally just my opinion. Uh, everybody's got their own opinion on these things. There's going to be a lot of people out there that really love Shovel Knight that absolutely hate this. And, you know, everybody's entitled to, to think that. How? Just how? I don't... No, I thought I'd done it. I was so impressed at what I'd done and then I took a hit anyway. That was some very tricky enemy placement. And I can't believe the game would do that to me. I can't believe that this wonderful game would betray me like that. I feel so betrayed. Oh, there's so many mushrooms. I really dislike the mushrooms. I don't even like mushrooms in real life. Mushrooms are gross. That's right, I said it. Mushrooms are gross. They're like... They're like flavourless rubber. I mean, rubber's probably not very tasty anyway. I can't say I've ever eaten rubber. But I don't know, they're just like slimy, depending on how you cook them. And they're just, they're just not a good texture, and then they don't even taste good either. My other half will absolutely kill me for saying this, because she loves mushrooms. I just can't stand them. I'm very sorry, I just can't. I almost panicked then, I was thinking, what what on earth is that? What on earth is this enemy? And then I realised I've, I've killed many of them. Well, not many, I've probably killed about five. But I've killed them before, is all that matters. I need health. More health would go down a treat roundabout now. I've got so many nuts. I've never had so many nuts. Super compass. Super compass is good. I don't know how long it'll last for, but the super compass is good. There's a chest over this way. Chests are always good, because that means more stuff. I could probably do with saving some nuts, but I'm going to spend them anyway. I got a mushroom. Mushrooms explode when defeated? All right. So just any mushroom enemy? That's pretty cool, because this, en this enemy, this level, seems to be absolutely flooded with mushroom enemies. No. No, you little rat. Why? Take that! Take that, rat! Oh yes, health! No? No health? Oh, but I got a key. That makes perfect sense. Oh! Secret area! I'm not going to fast travel, I'm just going to backtrack because that, that's where the secrets is. So the super compass tells me where the secrets are. I love the super compass! Super compass is my favourite. It's my favourite power-up so far. Actually, I think the mushroom thing might be my favourite power-up. So, I've never seen the mushroom power-up before. I've never seen the ghost before. So maybe this dungeon that I'm in now is going to be a lot more what the roguelike thing's going to be like. Oh, no. How many more of these is there? There are so many! Do I... Do I win? I think I win. Give me the mana. Please, just give me the mana. I need the mana back. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yes. Did not think I was going to survive that. I honestly didn't think I would. And then I did. 
then I did. I survived it. Oh, little mushroom dude. Oh, that was such a pretty and large explosion. And it made like a lovely little twinkly noise. Um, yeah. Got ya. It's a shame they weren't in close enough proximity for that to be useful. But I mean, it's still pretty cool. It's a pretty cool power up. I like that. I am so intrigued to fight fi Figer. To Figer out. To figure out what the rogue mode's gonna be like. I am really eager to see the rogue mode. Uh, which which way is it? How do I? How? How? How does one map on the controller? Ah, why? Why is how you map on the controller? So I have a long way to run because I didn't fast travel. It's fine. It's fine. I needed I needed to go for a jog anyway. I need to uh, burn a few calories, you know, uh, lose a few pounds. Because uh, I'm getting a little bit tubby lately, so... It's because I'm relying on my bird to do all the hard work for me, so... So, you know, we, we, needed, we needed the jog. Oh, I thought I was going to get a double kill. I wanted the double kill so much. Nailed it. Oh, the mushroom thing doesn't last long, it's already... Oh wait, no, it's not the mushroom thing, it's extra health. I need the extra health though. What is this? Koji's locked in a chorus form that doesn't last long enough. Wall jump isn't that good. I'm going to take the health again. I need the health. I always have to buy the health. And then we'll take that. That'll do me for now. Thank you, little bird friend. Little toucan friend, toucan buddy. Excuse me? Ah, uh, uh, um... Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought... I thought I was going to get a combo. Even, even though it was only going to be a two-hit combo. But that would have looked pretty cool. Because I did some... Some really sweet jumps and dodges and duck, dip, dive and dodge and all that sort of stuff. But it didn't quite work out as I planned. No! Nailed it. Nailed it. I can't believe I got them both. I got them both with the mushroom boom. What do we got? Loads of nuts. Loads of nuts. All for me. And loads of rats. Oh, and a dragon thing that's probably not a dragon. Whatever it is. Little worm deal. And you did. And you did. And you did. Third time to charm. 93. I can afford it. Is it worth it? Probably not. Volcanic. Launch a flaming rock with Magiri's feather. That is pretty cool. I do like that one. We're going to get rid of the super compass because we're at the boss now anyway. So we don't really need it. So that was pretty decent timing on that, I think. And obviously we're going to use Fire Deal because we've just got a power up for it. What are you? What are you? What are you and why? I'm nearly dead. I'm nearly dead. And that's not good. I'm also out of mana. Is there a way to kill this easily? What is it doing? Why are you purpling? Can I hit the purple things? I can. Did you see my amazing ninja skills? No, don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Oh my god! We did it! I actually did it! I did a boss first try! Did you see that? Did you see my amazing skills? What on earth is that? <gasps> swim! Press A to swim fast. Swim underwater, press A to swim fast. The controller. It's all in the controller. None of that was me. It's the controller. Oh, <gasps> yes. And I can still throw my little owl deal. I don't know how you can fly underwater. That makes no sense. But it's fine. That's fine. Oh, wow. I can swim so fast. I'm like a little bullet. I'm like a dolphin. A little dolphin boy. So now can I go this way? So maybe I needed the little swim deal power. Can I, like, do a little secret thing that way? No? Yeah, anyway, so maybe I needed the little swim swim power deal. 
um, to do the water dungeon that I found before, the little secret dungeon. What is this? The voice. Once the island was peaceful, we provided for the totems, and they provided for us in return. Ikora gave us refreshing water on blistering days. Zafara blew strong winds to drive the, our mills. Magira brought warmth on the bitterest nights. And our gentle protector, Amara, patrolled the skies to keep the island from harm. Oh, and there was the, the little cave paintings depicting all of that. Ah. So, Amara is the protector of the island, not the big bad, big bad deal. And I was like throwing owls at it and stuff. I feel bad now. You shouldn't just go around throwing owls at stuff for no reason. I really want to go this way. Because, I mean, I got a swim deal now and I feel like this is the way that we're meant to go. I'm going to go to the fast travel deal. If I can get to it. I don't think I can get to it. I can't, I actually can't get to it. I'm not going to go to the fast travel deal. Oh, wait, can I even go back to where I was? I don't think I can, can I? Because I'm in a completely different world now, maybe, sort of. Oh, so I can't even go to the avi aviary hotel anyway, when I thought I could. No, I can't go in there. So that, I believe, literally just was a Jurassic Park reference. Pretty cool Jurassic Park reference, though. I like it. So this way it is. I wanted to try and go back to that secret dungeon, the secret water dungeon. I thought that that would have been the the next best place to go. Ooh. Loads of creepy underwater business. Okay, we have a dungeon here. Sanctuary Swamp. That sounds terrifying. I think we may have time for one quick run. We can do it. We can do it. First try. What are you? What even? What even is that meant to be? You have got the creepiest tongue motion I've ever seen. And it did like a little dirty tongue noise as well. You got it. Uh, oh, I don't like the piranhas. Oh, I don't like it when they can omnidirectional buy. They were bad enough before they could do that. I have to admit, I like it already because now I feel like I have a dodge button. Dodge button's cool. Dodge button's always good to have in games like this. Is this a secret? I will test it for secrets. No, it's not a Koji. It wasn't secret. Good work, Koji. That's not a secret either. Yeah, I like it already. This level's cool. This level's really cool. This is an interesting level. Plus it sounds really nice and it's really pretty looking. I like the little glowing bulb things up here. They're, they're pretty nice. Sorry Koji. I was demonstrating what I liked and apparently I like smashing your face into walls. But we already knew that, didn't we? I feel that in this area I'd probably be more likely to get combos because I can like uh, throw the bird and then dodge and then throw the bird again. I feel like it's going to be a bit more fluid gameplay wise in this place. Even though I'm kind of struggling a little bit. See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? I just feel like getting to getting to the other enemies to deal combos is going to be so much easier. We need a dodge button like this for on land. That'll make life so much easier. It might lead to a lot of my deaths as well though. Because I tend to get careless with, with dodges. So it's probably not the best idea for me. But I still like it, and I still feel like it'll make for some pretty cool gameplay. Yeah, we are dishing out some badass combos right now. What do we got? Sub-Zero creates a freezing zone with a chorus feather. 
I wonder if that's something that you can only do underwater then. Maybe that's like only for a water level? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not only for underwater. Oh, why would I jump right into that? You are a bad turtle. You're a bad little turtle. 31 nuts. You could take my 31 nuts. Oh, rebound. I do like me some rebound owl. Some rebound falcon owl bird thing. Pigeon. Falcon owl bird pigeon. Thrush jump. That sounds so wrong. Quill catapults into the air when casting Koji off downwards? What? That's kind of cool. If you don't use it to kill yourself, that is, then it's kind of cool. Was I supposed to get that there? Is that like scripted? No, it's not scripted. I thought maybe I needed that to progress further in this dungeon. Oh, there's a little bug deals. Oh, wow, they fly really er erratically. This dungeon's cool. I really like this dungeon so far. I'm having a lot of fun. I I'm enjoying the game a lot more with the controller. I was enjoying it a lot already, but even more so with the controller. It just feels so much nicer to play, my opinion. Other people will disagree, and prob probably, I imagine. But I think I'm out of time for this video anyway, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more gaming videos on games that I play, and I will see you next time.